Hey guys, Master Zeon here. Today we're going to be modeling a pineapple, so we're just going to jump over into Blender, press A twice, delete everything. One to go into side view, five to go into orthographic, and to bring up our end panel, and we're going to add in a background image. So we're going to get, jump over to our desktop, and we're going to take our image of what we're basically modeling here, and we're just going to go down here and begin tracing it. So we're going to put a plane, R, X, 9, 0, tab into edit mode, Z wireframe, and now this is, I guess this is going a little quick, but that's only because I've done this about four times. Um, so I don't want to do it no more. Um, so I'm trying to make sure I get it done this time. Um, so do I some bad geometry going on here. Uh, sorry about that. Let's see. And I'm trying this a completely different way than I did before. I'm just, I just press V to tear it. Um, I actually don't know exactly what I'm going for here. Basic pineapple shape gotten down now. And I just press V to tear it, and let's see what we got. We got this little pineapple plane. Uh, let's go in and select this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge. Press W, subdivide. Press Control R, and let's add in some loop cuts. And We're just going to be making them form kind of in a circular shape because we want it to, uh, we're going to pull them out here in a moment, so it's just a little subdivision magic, I guess. We'll select these two, delete it. And we'll just leave it at that. Now... We're going to go into side view, press O, and drag it out, just like that. And now for the front, we're going to press E, Textrude, on the, and Y, rotate it, and we're just going to build that little hook you see in pineapples. Now, I'm starting to see that it's kind of pointing down, so... I think the first time I did this tutorial, they were pointing up, and the second time they were still pointing up, and ah, now I see the light, and they're pointing down. So S C E Z S W no S zero. There we go. And we got our basic shape here. Now we're gonna go ahead and texture it in the most unfortunate, uncreative awful way, and that is the way Call of Duty does it, because I've been playing a lot of it lately, uh, and that's what we're going to do for this, because it'll get us through a lot quicker. So, let's select this point at the end, or circle, select all the points at the end, and press Control Plus, Control Plus, Control Plus, H hide. Now back in front view, A to select everything, U, project from view, we jump over to the UV editor, our picture and we project it again, project from view. Now we got our little pineapple. And so we're actually going to use the picture for this one today. Uh, which I think in my original I had actually cut it out of the pineapple and then blurred it a little bit so it looked a lot more better. But today we're just going to use that. Now Let's give it an array. So, add modifier, array. And if you look at it, you see that it's about right there. So we're just going to extend this out by about, let's see, one, two, three, four, and about eight. And we're going to go up in top view, and 
and let's tap into edit mode, select this, and move it all the way far away from our pivot point here. There we go. We got to Alt H unhide the um, other part, or else it doesn't move. So we're going to add an empty here. And for our object offset, we're going to choose empty. Apply rotation so it doesn't get crazy. And now we're just going to move it up. And we're just rotating this in a way that they all fit evenly around it. So let's actually perfect this. So let's drag out another view, T, T, and get rid of the bars on the side and over here. And we're going to go up in the top view. We're going to tap into edit mode and we're going to drag this and just see about where we got to have it to perfect it. There we go. That one that matches up in the second one, and that's about the amount of space we want. So if we all see, we got a row of pineapple slices, or pieces. Now this one isn't going to be perfect to scale. This is just our little version of it. And the fact that we're following an image reference will just be our little secret. Now, um, go down and we'll choose object offset MT001. RZ. If we want top view we see that they're not in line anymore. Let's bring up our end panel and we are going to just make this where it shows from the front. And we're just trying to find where this empty needs to go. I'll see how I got this here. Actually, I got a better idea. Let's um, choose relative offset, lower this to zero. Um, let's delete the empty. Just like this. And we're just going to raise it up to Z. in 3D. There, we'll just put our empty here. Usually I use the middle as where I begin everything. Um, and we select this. Object offset empty 0 wide. We're still getting poor results. again and take a look at this one. Um, this one looks almost right, except we're going to shrink its size a little bit. And we're just going to jump over here, clear out this array, and apply this array. We're going to delete that empty, and we're going to hold down Shift, Control, Alt, and S. We're on one, Control, Alt, Shift, C, Origin to Geometry. Alright, then uh, selection the cursor, then an empty, then we're going to go down here and add an array. And um, I guess that's a good example of, you know, why you should not let your scene get off your central point when you're modeling. Um, so, RZ, and if we bring it down, we can see what we've got going on here. We'll bring it down some more. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and stack this array. 
and we can remove our background image because we already have one over here. We're just going to increase that to about 13. That looks good. That looks awful, but it'll look good in a render. Um, now we're just going to apply this, delete this empty, shift A, lattice. Scale it up where it encompasses the whole object. Move it up. And I have not experimented using a more detailed lattice, um, but the one gave me all right results before. So we're just going to set all these to eight. Just give that a try. Now we're going to select this, then the lattice, Control P, lattice to form. Now, if we make sure that our O our O proportional editing tools cut on. We're in wireframe mode. Let's box select this. Scale it in. Now, I don't know uh, how many of y'all actually use lattices, but they're pretty good practice. Um, they really allow you to make some really a really extensive amount of uh, give you an extensive amount of control um, at late stages in modeling. Like if we had to normally do this, we would have to still use the O, but it would it would just be a lot harder. And you know, once you integrate this into your workflow as an actual modeling tool that you use on a regular basis, it becomes pretty beneficial to you as the user. Blender is all sorts of interesting uh, little features. You find out something new every day too. Alright, so we got our basic shape. Down here at the bottom, just from experience, I know that I want to scale that in. Just because you don't want the bottom to have too much exposed. Um, so we're going to go ahead and apply, actually control Z, we're going to select this, shift D, duplicate, move to zero. That way in case something goes wrong with this, we still have the original. So we delete that and here we go, we got our pineapple. Now for the leaves coming out the top, plus your 3D cursor here, shift A, plane, RX90. SC up and right here we're just um, scaling in on the Z axis after selecting everything, adding a loop cut. Now, this one, uh, the picture has some pretty ugly leaves, so let's um, switch up our reference image with the one that I actually like. See, why isn't that showing? Alright, I guess because we're in edit mode. Uh, that was the original. Here we go. This is the pineapple that uh, we're going to be using. Uh, we probably should use those textures too. They look like they're a little better looking. But that'll do. Um, so, easy. SX. And G. Just extrude and brought it out a little bit, and here we'll just delete that. Uh, and that's about it. There's not really a whole lot of work you're putting into making a leaf. You know, we put a, little, a couple of loop cuts here, grab 
these edges bring it forward a bit and hit smooth and we got a little more shapeliness to them. Turn off the subsurf for modeling purposes. Now we're going to tab, choose unwrap. So we're just stilling textures as we go. UV, uh -oh. UV editor. And we're going to bring up this one. I'm going to choose you. Uh, project from view. And we're just going to put this leaf right here. Like I said, easy, easy, easy. We're going to skip out a bunch of work on material. Uh, just so we can finish this in a good time. And, it, you know, it does the job. So, now let's build these leaves. Um, as you can see at the bottom, it's a row of leaves followed by even more leaves. We're going to select this, tap into edit mode, move this one forward some. Sorry if I sound like I'm rambling. Um, the pineapple is actually pretty easy to make. Um, so there's not really a whole lot of learning. Um, I can think of here. I shift A, apply rotation. Right, that did it. We're just going to extend this out by five. Take our empty. Alright, let's turn off that relative offset. Let's see what we got. Um, let's undo that. Let's just let's just drag the empty where it's gotta go. So we want it about right there. And six R C expand it. Tab in edit mode. G our way out. Alright. Now we select our array and we add an array. Just add another empty, and we're going to choose object offset empty zero zero one. We're just going to move this up here, R Z, scale it up some. Maybe scale it up like that because we want them to be within the old leaves and. If we go into texture mode, we see that um, we pretty much <laughs> avoided all of um, the material stage, which is not something I enjoy doing. Um, I'm still working on uh, getting down material nodes, which I don't see talked about very much. Um, so it kind of leaves them pretty mysterious to me. Alright, we're going to apply. Apply. Just find these empties that are hidden throughout here and delete them and then take that, suck it down into the pineapple, and we got the shape we're going for here. Now we could put a little more detail into it and we probably should have, but we're not. Now I'm just applying smooth and subsurf to both of them so that way we have a Good looking uh, smooth model. So I'm going to make the leaves a little bigger and there we go. Now for the bottom. Under the bottom we're just going to uh, I didn't want to deal with the bottom but here we go. Uh, just so it has a bottom 
add a circle, 12 hertz, forward slash local mode, and I'm just extruding in, scaling in. And just merging them so you know nothing really high tech here now we're going to select these faces and choose control in well control in to make normal space outside and then we're going to extrude s z s z and then we're going to pull them up and extrude S Z and we've created like the bottom of our pineapple here. Add a subsurf to that, smooth it. And for our basic materials, um, we're just gonna give it like a like a brownish yellow, hit the ramp, um twinge it with that. And we're gonna change it to normal. I just think I'll make it look a little better. Then for intensity, we're going to turn that off, raise the hardness, or lower the hardness to okay, something about there, and then jump over here in textures, we're going to give it a clouds texture, turn off color, and apply intensity, RGB to intensity, we'll come back over here, and we got this kind of Alright, and that should do it. So let's go down here and we'll scale it in just right. SZ, make it slightly larger. Tap into edit mode and we'll just go to vertex mode. See, we're just going to select all these tip verts, grow it. So, and there we go. That will certainly do. And if we go into textured mode, we can see our result. Nothing too complex here, but still something I think was worthy of a tutorial. Now I'm just selecting this and this, the Control J to join. And Control J, join that. Uh, and that made it come out looking pretty bad. Actually, uh, let's undo all of that. We have not applied any materials to our objects. So to our leaves, let's go leaves. Um, and under here, load an image. All right, the leaves are from this 264. Let's see. Uh, UV. I've been goofy. Alright. And for the specularity, of course we want to turn that down. And that does it for that. Um, we tab into edit mode. Make sure we select everything and hit assign. This will make it a little easier, I think, whenever we merge them together. We'll call this PA for pineapple. And we are also going to add an image or movie, and we know it's this one. Under mapping, we're going to put it on UV. And lower down the specular intensity some more. So, we're just about done here. Now, let's select the pineapple. Tab into edit mode. And choose the side. And we'll merge this to this. Shift J. And for this, we will select it all, choose a sign, and we'll call it PA bottom. And now they're all merged. My screen is distorting. I know you'll probably see that. 
Blender is not supposed to do that, and the computer is not supposed to do that. So I just put the 3D cursor at the origin with Shift C, pressed period to move it to where my pivot points my 3D cursor, and I just scaled it down. So now we're going to just go ahead and just get a render view of it. So let's put an empty, then let's put an area lamp. So shift select, alright we got our area lamp selected, shift select the empty, and press control T. Now the empty is pointing, I mean, now the uh, lamp is pointing at the empty. We're going to lower our distance down so we don't get blown out of our image. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't show with that track 2 constraint. So we just go into, we just add a camera. And and we go into a quick render. Let's see what we got. Change some settings here. Um, edit occlusion, turn it to multiply. Let's lower that down to about 68. Let's go into top view. Uh, go into lamp settings and let's make this much larger. I'm going to keep them in the back. Go into side view, add a spotlight. Shifting, track to constraint, and we're just making our spotlight point down at it, and we're going to just move these to the side over here under settings for shadow buffers 10, 24, and 4. Those are like being lucky numbers, and that should do it for this. So now, if we render it, it'll look a lot better. So we got one pineapple here. Let's duplicate it. We're almost done here, so let's scale it up a little bit. Then Shift D, duplicate, move it along the X. Now for this pineapple, we're going to go over here and remove all the materials. So we got one that's material and one that's not. We're going to give it like a dull dark gray with no specularity or hardness and then we're going to select it shift D duplicate it and we know that this one's called plane 003 so the one underneath is called plane 002 we probably should have named it um, we're going to choose shrink wrap and plane 002 and keep above surface Offset point one, offset point two. Where's this thing? Let's let's assign a material. So for this one, we're gonna make the click the two, make it a single user. We're gonna change it to wire. Black. Go over here under object data and change it to wire and to wire. So now we have one pineapple that's just a wireframe and one that looks like this. Now what I'm working on is a way of using the, comp the compositor to dissolve away the color exposing only the wireframe and then dissolve the wireframe which I think would give it like the image of like teleportation because I want to make it where um, you know you see one pineapple teleport and the other one go into a blender um, but I'm still working on that. Keep posted for that. And let's see what we got. Um, actually, Alt H, unhide everything. We see that this one's not going to receive very much light. 
with its current render setting. So we duplicate some lights and put them over there. Now we're going to add a plane. S, S. And we're going to add a material to this and turn on shadows only. And we render that out. Just waiting on it. Sorry about that. All right, now I'm back. Um, We probably could do better with the leaves, add some small leaves at the bottom, but that is something I will leave up to you. And also in my original, I also went and uh, painted each of the tips a different material, or back in the beginning, I'd actually did that and I forgot to do so here. But if we look at our render versus our source image, we see that we got a pretty good um, image here, despite the fact that we pretty much made the image into a 3D object, um, which is probably what this image tutorial should have been about or something, but let's um, add a little more interest to it, um, raise it up a little higher, um, alright, now let's jump over to the compositor. We'll hit F12 over that window. Choose your nodes. Use nodes and backdrop. Uh oh. I went too far. Maybe I crashed Blender. Yep. Blender crashed. <laughs> so we will end the tutorial there. Happy Blendering.